everybody. <laughs> well, you'll be glad to hear I caught the parasol. <laughs> it was stuck on the fence in the end. It was like just wobbling. You know, like say, say this is the fence and this is the parasol. And it was doing this. It didn't quite tip over, but it was doing this. So I grabbed it. It's Boo's parasol. I have, um, oh, I'm steaming up because I'm laughing so much. Um, <clears throat> the parasol in the table, because that's a big one. I tend to take in, but Boo has a little baby parasol. Um, he has a, a little armchair with his cushion in and he sits there most days and he has this baby parasol to go over the top because sometimes, you know, to keep him out of the sun, but also if he, he still likes to be, he's, he's like me, we like to be outside. So he likes to be outside even if it's raining. So it just protects them and stuff like that. But um, normally because it's smaller, if the wind gets it, it just falls over, but no, it took off. Oh, and I could see it. So I came back and I carried on. I was going to video it. <laughs> well, I did video it. I came back, started videoing, finished it, and then um, the camera wasn't on. <laughs> so it wasn't a good day. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just laughing so much. Come in, come in. Next time, can one of you run out? One of you go get it, then I can carry on filming. Oh, so funny. Hang on a minute. So let me tell you what I did. And I've still got, actually, oops, sorry, I'm just undoing my shoelace. Um, I've still got more to do on it. So on this on this page here, I filled in, oh, look, I've just, I've only just painted them and I've just smudged them. I didn't wait. I painted them and came straight on. Ta-da! Vinyl looks. It only takes eight minutes, so that's how little ago I painted them. Right, so on here, <clears throat> I filled them in, and what I was trying to say was, I put this here, so it's the same colour every time. But with the weather, so on Monday it was really hot, on Tuesday it was okay, Wednesday it was miserable, Thursday it rained all day, yesterday was that miserable um, and windy, um... Friday, sorry, Saturday. It was a bit funny. It was Saturday. It was miserable. Then it was really sunny. And then it was, you know, um, rainy. So I sort of did it like this. And I'll just fill it along. I added a little remember um, up here. Just as one of the stickers from the diary sticker book. And these are stickers from the diary sticker book as well. Note to self, keep it real. Just be. I coloured in um, the rest of this. Because these were the two blank lines that I wanted there. And I just doodled round it and that will just keep going and I'll show you as I go along uh, what I do so like here was I in the garden not very long so I've just put a small bit in there okay audible no alcohol and no chocolate will probably be every day because I listen to audible every day I haven't had any alcohol since January and I, I can't remember when I last had chocolate either so but the rest will go up and down okay so that was that and then on the audible one um, I just added some little stickers down the edge here and again I just outlined it and then I just wrote in so at the moment I read, I've read, I've already listened to Sophie Hannah kind of cruel White Fragility Robin D'Angelo fabulous book and I'm uh, just finished Natives by Akala um, and with everything that's going on in the world at the moment I, I, I feel that I do I have a really good un understanding of racism but I wanted to learn um, more. I wanted to educate myself a lot more. I wanted to learn more, you know, loads. So I've downloaded loads of books from Audible um, on the subject, on the subject of racism from all kinds of different points of view. So that's mainly going to be my um, read listening this month. But I saw yesterday this fabulous quote that I just want to add to it. I thought this page was finished, but I, I'm going to put the quote on a little tag down there and just have it as a flap so I can still write my audible but I don't know how long the quote is going to be so I'm going to draw it write it and then I'm going to cut the tag to match okay that saves getting the tag wrong and the quote was it's a privilege to edu educate yourself about racism instead of experiencing it and I thought oh my gosh yeah I'm so privileged that I can say I'm going to educate myself because I have never I've never experienced it. So I just want to add that down to the bottom here. And it's just going to be really just simple letters. Um, so I'm just going to write it here. It's a privilege. Have I got a pen that writes a bit 
a bit darker. There we go. Let me try that again. It's and I just want to add this to the front. And I think we should all educate ourselves a bit more on things that we don't, you know, that we don't um, experience. But that's just my point of, that's just my view, that's all. And I, this is my um, dialogue, so this is what I want to put in my dialogue. And then I can put some comments on the back later when I've read them. I have to say, the one with the Carla at the moment, he's he's actually um, he's actually narrating it as well. He wrote it and he's narrating it. He's a, I mean, he is a really so such a such a good um, speaker. I enjoy watching him whenever he's in any in any debates. I really enjoy listening to him. So, um, oh my goodness me, it's going to take nearly all the card. I thought it would be a lot less, but never mind. There we go. So, it's going to pop a bit up through there, but that'll be fine. So I'm just going to cut the bottom off. Oh, red scissors, my black scissors must be in the house. Do a little bit more. Okay, and some tape on the back and like I say I can um, write more comments on the back later so I'm just going to fold that over I always fold it over where the tape is and just give it a good score oh I know what I was going to do Gonna do a little bit of a border around. I always like to put a border on, make it look finished. You'll be glad to know it's not windy today. It is rainy though still, it's drizzly. Don't know if other people say that word drizzly. It's like when it's just, it's hardly there, but you get very wet. So let's take the back off this tape. And let's position it there. There, okay. So I'll show a, I'll show a, um, I'll add a picture of that in with this as well, with the next one. Okay, so there we go. So we are on, uh, oh, what are we on? Seventh. Oh, I don't know what date we're on. I think we're on the 7th of June. Um, and I also saw this other quote, which I really liked, and it was, my only current hobby and passion is tracking my packages. So just a little bit of right, light relief there. So um, that's what I'm going to put here. And I thought if we were tracking packages, we would be using a dog. So I'm just going to look through my dog's. I'm just doing a, um, I just want a quick page today really because I am 
busy sorting out new classes. Here we go. I love him, but he's probably a bit too big. So maybe him. Maybe I'll have him. Does he look like a tracking dog? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Never mind. Bless you. Here we go. Let's glue him in. right down make sure any excess glue gets off la 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 draw around him oops i always at least once go over the edge but i don't mind i don't care okay so I like that you can see that little bit of black through there. So I'm going to um, <laughs> let's do let's go oops go around this as near to the edge as I can. That's me. I'm always as near to the edge. <laughs> A lot of the time I cross over the edge. Just gonna put a little zigzag just to accentuate this window. that line a little bit <clears throat> okay so do I want what type of writing do I want it in because I'm not doing a lot <coughs> Let's try it in this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I could put five words up there and I could put five words down there. That would work. I would normally just write it, but I'm actually going to maybe draw five similar. Right, so one, two, three. Oh, actually, my only current hobby and my only current hobby and passion. Mm, passion might not fit in there. Um, my only current hobby. Oh no, passion. I'll go across there. Let me go a bit lower. Hobby and passion I can't count is tracking my packages marvellous so I'm just going to go with pen because I know what I'm doing so my only Hobby and 
fashion. Is hmm, tracking fit in? I might have to put tracking in too. So track ing. I think I'm going to have parcels. Parcels has got like letter. Uh, it's just got one letter less, so I'm, but I'm going to put parcels because it'll probably fit better. Yes, packages wouldn't have fitted. Goodness me! Right, let's rub this out. I'm more careful, you know, when I'm doing this for video. When I'm doing it just for me, I don't care. I just, <laughs> I just do it, and if it don't work, it don't work. So this is me trying to be neater. Okay, so I'm going to do my doodling, doodle doodle. That's number five. That'll do. So I'm just going to doodle around the giraffe. This is obviously being inked. Oh, I forgot to tell you, yes, this has been inked and um, ghosted. You can see the same on here. So it's obviously inked with two different colours of ink. And then I've laid a stencil on the top. And then this red down the middle has obviously come from another inked page somewhere. This is what happens when you ink. There's red again. Maybe there's some red here. There, must be that one. So that has seeped, it seeps all the way through. Wherever the stitching, can you see, it seeps through. You just have to get over it. Um, the beauty of ink is, it's like a cat. It does what it wants, when it wants, if it wants. You can't control it. I probably know more about ink than anybody, apart from probably Mr. Holtz. Um, spray ink, that is. And even I can't control it at times. So it is what it is. Okay. Um, so let's colour. Let's colour it in. And whenever I'm colouring big, I always swap to the Posca because my pens are so fine. I do my. I can outline or do writing with my pens, but if I'm colouring big like this. Actually, I think this black pen is about running out. I might have to swap to another one. Let me see if there's another one here. Otherwise, I can get one out of the drawer. I have so many opened pens. Now, these are good for... I keep them because they're good for, for just writing or outlining but not necessarily for colouring in. They would be fine but because I'm conscious of time with you all. You don't want to sit here for ages of me colouring in with something really thin. And that's why I've got pens that are all in various stages of use because some are good for colouring, some are good for outlining, some when they're really running down are good for doing my doodling. You know, all these are about defunct. Let me try one more and then I'm going to get another out of the box. Let's try this one. Sometimes they seem great at first, but it's because the paint is pooled. So you get a nice amount of paint out and then it just disappears again. Oh, this one's not bad. I'm terrible for getting a new pen out. Um, whenever I travelled... I would only take brand new pens with me because um, if pen, you know, pens are so important to me and if I was somewhere and I couldn't, my pens run out and I couldn't get them, I would be mortified, I really would. So I only ever took brand new pens. And so when I came home, I would dump all the pens into a big box 
And then when I went off again, I would use brand new pens. Well, if you use brand new pens, well, if you think I've been doing that for years. So I came home and I sorted out all the pens. So I'm trying to use up all the pens that I've dumped in that box over the years. <laughs> There's a fair few hundred. I'll never run out of pens, but I still can't get over. I've got to take brand new pens when I go. It's weird, isn't it? We have these little funny things. You know. But you wouldn't go anywhere without medication. You wouldn't go anywhere without, you know, you make your things that keep you going. And this is one of the things that keeps me going. I always take full boxes of medication when I go. I'm away for so long. And it's not so bad if I've got a pit stop at, say, Ranger, because <clears throat> I have a lot of stuff in my studio there. But um, most of the time, I'm up in the air and I can't have a pen run out. And if the plane cl crashes and I get stranded on a desert island, I will have enough pens to doodle. the outline on that one. There we get. Let me have a look. <coughs> this just shows you how these classes are not scripted. <coughs> and I just use whatever I've got. Oh, I've got a silly little tickle. That's going to be annoying, isn't it? Try it. Oh, goodness me. Maybe I need to throw them all away. a doodle pen I should have a separate box boxes for doodling boxes for writing boxes for coloring Ooh, that's a nice one you probably can't see from where you are but it's left this outline in a little bit jagged and I'm not happy with it here we go this one's good And before anybody complains about how wasteful I am or I have every pen, this is what I spend my money on. I spend tons of money on pens and I like them. So, you know, I've heard some people say, oh, it's not fair, you have all those pens and blah, blah, blah. You spend your money on you and I'll spend my money on me. Okay? To me, these are tools of the trade. It's like when people post their haul on my pages and they go, oh, look what's arrived. And people go, mm, that's not fair because I can't afford that and blah, blah, blah. Just, just be nice to people. Just be thankful to people. You know, people are, are pleased. They can save their, pay their money, save their, mm, spend their money on whatever they want to spend it on. And if it doesn't meet your requirements, zip it and move on. Passion. I think I have to have all the pens and every colour of the pen because growing up we didn't have them. You know, we didn't have a lot of money growing up. We just tend to have the just the basic colours to get by. So now I have to have every colour. And some of the sets that I've got, I bought them like two pencils a week. You know, when I didn't have much money, um, I used to go into the art shop every week and buy two pencils. I remember when I did that with the Christmas, buy two Christmas pencils every week. That was my treat. So eventually, I had them all. I've probably got every make of pencil and pen <laughs> that there is out there. Da, da, da. 
nearly there. Tracking. See, you just split a word in half, it doesn't matter. You are not going to get marked on your grammar. It's another thing that annoys me. Oh, I'm talking about annoying things today. I'm probably annoying you talking about things that annoy me. But another thing that annoys me is when people correct grammar online or correct somebody's grammar. And it's like, you know, again, I'm very privileged. I can spell really well. I'm good with grammar and things like that. But a lot of people aren't. And sometimes, you know, my son-in-law is, is dyslexic. Uh, my son's quite dyslexic. But, you know, it people... <clears throat> Um, when they're writing things, we don't need to bring them up on the grammar or the spelling or anything like that. And I know we have auto, um, what's it called, autocorrect, but sometimes the spell check comes out with a different word. <coughs> if you're dyslexic or struggle with spelling, you don't know that that's not the right word. So again, don't be a grammar Nazi online. Just let people be. A lot of artists are not very good at um, grammar and spelling, but it doesn't matter. If I spell a word wrong, I'm not bothered. Do you know, if, if, if I'm going to spell a word wrong, it's normally the really silly little words, a little word, and I look at it and I think, is that right? That looks weird. Because I write as fast as I, well... I don't write as fast as I think. I think faster than I write. So sometimes I get my letters back to front because I'm going that fast in my head. But um, it's all about just enjoying yourself. I try not to moan about any other moans now. There we go. My only current hobby and passion is tracking my parcels. By the way, this is tongue in cheek. It is not true, but um, it's nice to have a little bit of light relief <coughs> in here. I think I will outline it with a. Let's have a look. <coughs> oh, that is a stupid, silly little cough. I am looking for, if you could see this cupboard behind me, you would be mortified. There are so many boxes of pens. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my gel pens. I don't want sparkly. And I don't really want gel. I want, oh, actually, that one might. I don't, I don't think that's a gel. I think that's just, yes, that's just a normal. <coughs> this silly cough. Oh, dear me. Right, I'm just going to put a little outline. That's it. I just want a thin outline in that colour. I spent about five... Do you know, every, I spend so much time in here sorting out. You think there can't be anything left to sort out. But I got a lot of the, you know, the, the boxes like these. And, and the much, much bigger ones. These are just the small... So I sorted all the tops of my cupboards. So now they're all in the same boxes, which is very pleasing to the eye for me. Um, and so I'm just looking up there. And my Tim Holtz boxes, I have the big boxes like this, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen 11, 12, 14 Tim Holtz boxes. Oh, just made me laugh. I don't get a chance to use his stuff very often, but I just have to buy it. But then up the other side, I've got a, um, a Dina box, a Jane Davenport box, a Marlene box, a Kelly, Kelly Creates box. What else have I got up there? That might be it. That might be all my favourite people up there. It, I just feel happier. 
they're on top of my units I keep them up on the top um, but I feel happier that they are all matching there we go I'm not sure if you can see but it just makes a little difference and I think I'll put a little zigzag cross there in that colour just to match and now do I want a border I don't think I do want a border actually because there's quite no I think I'm okay with a border I think I am just going to outline these circles with this oops come on you have to talk to your pens you have to talk nicely to them again don't be frightened to add in different bits onto you know die cuts or stamps that are already there if you want to alter them and change them slightly you can do just to sort of, it's only the little things but it just makes them that bit different you could color them in a different color if you wanted I think I'm going to write on him that he's a tracker dog. So I'm going to put tracker. I don't know what a tracker dog looks like. I don't even know if there is a tracker dog. But here we go. There is my tracker dog. So, so today we did... Oh, everything's organised. Look, oh, these are... <laughs> These are my oh, dialogue ones just for these. So that's every single colour that I use for those. They're in a separate box. I'm terrible. Divide and conquer. That's me. So put those away. So what I did today was I just made this. Um, I'll probably write about that later. You know, some different things or what I've learned. Stuff like that. I'll put that in there. Um, then I did this page here. So this. See, look, this one is already done. This could be one page or it could be two. And I could just put a new thing in there. And then I've got a blank. I'm just trying to see what I've got coming up. Okay, so I'll decide tomorrow whether what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. See you later.